Hello everyone! A few months ago I reviewed the Zillow's Helmsman 2 in bronze on my channel. It was my first watch from Zillow's and after the pre-order I had to wait for, um, for a very long time in order to receive it. But in this case I've received the Mako only after a few days, probably because the watch was already finished, even if the pre-order was still going on. There are not many options out there for smaller diver watches, so we surely need to give a big thumb up for Zillow's, to Zillow's uh, for producing watches like the Elmsman 2 and the Mako, so that all the people that don't have Arnold Schwarzenegger's wrists can be happy. This Mako has some really outstanding specs. Bronze case, loomed ceramic insert in the bezel, um, domed sapphire crystal, water resistance up to 500 meters, and Swiss movement Solita SW200. And all of this comes at a quite tempting price, around 400 euros shipped to your door. Really hard to beat. But let's take a closer look. The watch comes in a leather pouch stored in a wooden box, just like the Helms 1 2. You get the watch itself with the rubber strap installed, the extra leather strap, the bronze warranty card and also the strap changing tool. I guess you noticed that I have a thing for blue dials. Unfortunately, the blue version of the Hemsman 2 wasn't looking too good for my taste. There are too many colors, the black and white bezel, the bronze hands and the red details. On the blue Mako everything is perfect to me, also the shade of blue is great match for the warm tone of the bronze. The dial has an extremely peculiar texture. I think it I haven't seen anything like this before. There's a radial wave pattern that plays beautifully with the light. The only doubt is that you can get sick of it after a while, but you can't really say it's not an original design. The applied power markers are filled with C3 Superluminova and so are the hands and the numbers of the bezel, while the minute markers on the dial are covered with a BGW9 Superluminova. Everything glows brightly in the night and even after a few moments in the direct sunlight it's fully charged. The ceramic bezel insert is brushed and the color matches perfectly the dial. The case has a more traditional design compared with the Helmsman 2. It's mainly brushed with only some small polished edges. I think that the finishing is much better than what you can find on the Helmsman 2 and it's really high quality. You can already see some oxidation even after a single day of use because of, uh, because of the sweating from my wrist. The crown at 4 o'clock position is a little bit small in my opinion. Of course it means that it's very comfortable and it's, it doesn't dig into your hand, but it's not so easy to operate and I don't have thick fingers. As usual for Zillow's brand, the logo on the crown is fully loomed. The case back is brushed and it has a, uh, this wonderful Mako shark engraved in the middle. You can see some oxidation even under the lugs and of course this is the beauty of bronze, but in case it becomes too much for you, you can always clean everything with a little bit of lemon juice to bring it back to a new condition. The Zillus Mako is shipped with a tropic style rubber strap and I think it's very high quality and it's not a lint or dust magnet. The buckle is made of bronze and it has a different design from the one used for the Helmsman 2. Uh, this, is before, uh, this is because uh, the size also is different. Um, on the Mako, uh, the lug size is 20 mm and the buckle size is 18 mm. In the leather pouch you can find also a nicely made leather strap. I think I would have preferred something matching the blue dial, maybe another uh, leather strap in blue or a nylon strap. On the wrist, the Mako is extremely comfortable thanks to its compact size. 40 mm in diameter, 46 mm lug to lug and 13.5 mm thick. You really can't be impressed by the dial and all its reflections. The loom brightness is a little bit better compared with Helmsman 2 and probably this is related with the C3 Superluminova used here instead of BGW9. So in my opinion this is a big value for your money and it's really difficult finding something better in this price range. 
I hope that you liked this video, let me know in the comments. Please subscribe to my channel if you don't want to lose my next videos and please don't forget to activate also the notifications. You can also follow me on Instagram and you can find the link down in the description. Thanks for watching, see you soon, ciao!